morning and welcome to Nesting Story. Today we're going to do something a little different. I'm taking you with me as I go to CrossFit, but I'm running short for time, so I thought I'd talk to you while driving. Okay, so let me tell you about, about my CrossFit journey. So, um, first of all, I always said I would never do CrossFit. Um, I the gym I go to, it's my friend's gym, Alex's gym, it's Element CrossFit, and years back, like way when he was in university with Mike, um, he came to us and was like, I'm going to try this new thing called CrossFit, and we had never heard of it before, and he was going to try, start a gym. In fact, I thought of the name, Element, and I went and I would visit, and Mike tried it a bit and found it a little bit too much, and I was like, never do that because I could see that it was like crazy intense and sometimes people like vomit and like it just it just seemed like a whole lot of work so fast forward to now I am now 36 years old five my twins are five years old I've got four kids for me what was like the tipping point was I've I've, I've kind of shared a little bit about the stress we've gone through lately um, just family stuff and stuff kids and like there's just a whole like a lot of a very stressful season but something that I've learned going through this stressful season is that I have this really unhealthy relationship with fear I there's certain things in my life that um, that I've been afraid of or and then I've made these rules for myself like I won't do this I don't do that because I'm afraid and that's it well it was having this ripple effect in all these different areas of my life not just with what I thought this kind of fear and it was this I think like it was turning up as anxiety and sometimes panic attacks I was really giving fear way too much power way 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 too much power to the point where it was controlling me and just impacting everything and so when I was going through this situation and this stress uh, about a month or two ago I was just like one day I was like I want to do CrossFit I wanted to do something that was going to push me and I wanted to be pushed like I just wanted to push past that fear so um, one of the promises I made to myself when I was pregnant with my twins is that I would get my body really strong after my body went through extremes I carried them full term I had they were each over six pounds and I'm five foot two and it was just a lot for my body and I thought when I have my twins after my twins I want to get really strong so I kind of did that like I I would work out here and there but they were kind of like these pathetic workouts and I was realizing that I just I needed to push past this certain part with my strength so the whole point of me doing this was to empower myself and to strengthen myself and build my confidence and face fear. So I've now been going to CrossFit for a few weeks and it's been amazing. It's been such a game changer. Um, I'm Today's my last session with the personal trainer because they do here six sessions where they teach you like technique and form um, and just kind of uh, how just like the basics like you still work out but I'm not in the group the next one after today I'll be starting in the group I think today I might be joining the group for a bit sharing this journey so far on Instagram and um, I've been getting an overwhelming response from people about how motivating it's been for me to share my workouts because it's I'm not a fitness blogger um, I'm not somewhere at like an end goal I'm showing myself you know I'm at times I'm out of breath at times I don't I don't have the form down but I'm still doing it and I'm still showing up and I'm still going it going and I've had a common theme from people in my comments that um, that's super encouraging so I do want to say though that um, because uh, my friend Alex owns the gym um, this is we do have a trade so he has gifted me this and and um, I he wanted me to share my real journey he wanted people like kind of to debunk a bit of CrossFit myths too because I'm sure everyone's kind of heard the stuff that's I think what held me back too is that people aren't trained properly it's dangerous all this stuff but so far my experience has been amazing and I have had so much care and people taking looking after me and 
and teaching me the right form and just spending the time with me. So um, that's something I can say for sure. But the craziest thing has started to happen now that I've been going for a little while and just showing up and showing up and pushing through is I suddenly want to face more fears. So yesterday I went home and I wrote out this list of fears that I have. And I put it on my fridge. And there are things like, um, let's see, money management. Sometimes I can be like afraid of money management, so I want to get even better at that. Um, watching like my kid lose a tooth. Watching myself get blood work taken. Like I don't, have a, I don't have a thyroid. I have to get blood taken very often, but I can't watch the needle go in. I want to just like face my fears. Roller coasters. Um, driving a standard car. Going camping. Um, what else do I have on there? Uh, math. <laughs> playing a sport with a ball or playing a sport with a team. Those are two huge ones. Um, making conversation with strangers. I really have a hard time with that. So things like that. So I'm really excited to face, oh, and ice skating, that's one too. I'm really excited to face these fears. And I was thinking about it, and like, there's a difference between something I just don't like, like snowboarding, I've tried, I don't like it, so I'm not gonna do it. And actually just not doing things out of fear. I think this is gonna be really huge for me because I'm just so over fear running my life. Um, Oh, and even like making decisions for nesting story. There's some decisions that I'm, I'm making and they're hard and I don't make them out of fear and I need to stop and I need to just like follow my heart and do what fills my, you know, my bucket and everything like that. So that's been huge. That's this like crazy ripple effect that's come from this that I didn't even, even anticipate. So you're going to come with me today. You're going to check it out. I'm going to show you my new journey and, um, yeah, come with me. Anyways, I've talked for a long time. I'm on my way. Um, there's also like this nice long drive there, which I'm also finding very good for me. I was getting really isolated at home and this gets me out three times a week and just gives me this, it gets me out with people. Get, and I find this drive just very soothing and, and calming. So the whole thing has been a really good experience so far. Okay, three rounds later, I did it. This is my score. That's 200 and what? 
Yay. Excellent. Way more than I thought. I thought really? it was 80. 201 is amazing. Oh, good. Yay. Incredible. Really good. And your form was super consistent the whole time. Good. And you stayed calm. I could tell good. you were calm. Yeah, I had fun. Yes. Wasn't good. torture. Yes. Good. <laughs> And I'm done. I That was really good, really fun. I hung in there. Um, I'm very sweaty and out of breath. But the thing I also love about CrossFit is like, the day of, I eat a lot. And I, I definitely can eat a lot at any time. But like, it feels good to just know that I like worked hard and my body just like needs all that fuel. So I have a lot of fun eating a lot <laughs> the day I go to CrossFit and going home and showering and just like all day being like I accomplished that today anyways thank you so much for watching uh, have you ever tried CrossFit are you doing any exercise routine a lot of you guys have been asking me about my home routine a while back and I just didn't feel good about it so I didn't share it I feel really good about this um, I'll give you an update in a month or two about how it's going and maybe I'll have some actual weight on the barbells and all that stuff if you haven't subscribed yet, I'd love for you to subscribe and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.